Hello guys, it's Gaz and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is another episode in my new little season, Gaz's 15 minute meals, where I'm trying to show you how good and tasty you can make food, vegan food, in just 15 minutes. I posted some amazing 15 minute meal recipes over the last few weeks, and Nazi Gorin, a Jamaican curry, and so much more. And today is a really beautiful salad I'm actually gonna take it to the next level by making kicking cauliflower bites. So they're gonna be crunchy, they're gonna be tangy, they're gonna be spicy, and they're gonna go on top, of, on top of a beautiful salad. All made in just 15 minutes. The sauce from scratch, the batter, the salad, everything's gonna be so, so nice. So I better get in the kitchen and get cooking. Let's go. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe and all of that stuff because it really helps me get to that 1 million mark where I said that when I reach 1 million subscribers I'll announce where my first restaurant's going to be and that's been a dream of mine since I was a little kid when I first got my first professional chef job when I was just 15 years old so please help me get there. Anyway, this salad, a really simple salad made with one of my favourite vegetables, cauliflower. Let's get this prepared first and then I'll make an amazing sauce that's gonna eventually coat this once it's all crispy and golden. Cut the cauliflower into similar size florets. So my florets are done. I'm gonna make the sauce now, and the base of the sauce is some orange juice, fresh orange juice that I'm gonna reduce down, get nice and thick, and this is gonna be really sweet, and I'm gonna get some spicy flavors in there as well to make this really tangy, just a really nice glaze to go around the crispy fried cauliflower once they're done. To a saucepan, add some orange juice, tomato puree, sriracha, maple syrup, soy sauce, and garlic powder. So guys, that is the sauce done there. We're gonna let that reduce down and thicken up nicely, just over a low heat, and I'll whisk it every now and then. Now it's time to make the batter, which we're gonna coat a lovely cauliflower in. This is the point where you would preheat your saucepan filled only halfway high with oil, or preheat your oven to around 180 degrees Celsius for, to alternatively bake them. Obviously, if you're baking them, they're not, it's not gonna be a 15 minute recipe, uh, but it, it avoids using oil. I reckon 25 to 30 minutes in the oven to get them golden. To a bowl of corn flour, add some baking powder, vinegar, and non-dairy milk. <laughs> So I've just got rid of all of the lumps there. The vinegar with the baking powder is gonna react and make a nice sort of bubble, which is gonna result in a really crisp and light batter. So I'm gonna get my cauliflower coated, then fried. Bring your oil to around 180 degrees. To test the oil is hot enough, dip a wooden spoon or sp wooden spider into the oil, and if it bubbles, it's hot enough. Dip the cauliflower into the batter and individually carefully place them into the oil. Do not drop them from a height. So ideally, you wanna cook your cauliflower in the oil for around two to three minutes or until nice and golden. If your oil's too hot, it's gonna cook the outside of the batter too fast and your cauliflower is gonna be undercooked and too crunchy on the inside. So it's around two to three minutes in the oil. And these have crispened up already. Only fry a few at a time so you're not raising the level of the oil in the pan too high. And obviously, if you're baking these, dip them in the batter onto a lined uh, baking tray lined with baking paper or something like that and into the oven as I said for about 25 to 30 minutes. They'll get crispy but not as crisp as frying them but obviously it's, it's slightly healthier um, baking them rather than frying them. These are looking golden and beautiful now, very crisp, beautiful. And it's important when frying to just put everything onto kitchen paper after so it soaks up any, soaks up any excess oil. And one thing as well with frying, us chefs love frying, it adds such an amazing texture to food. 
And if you do it properly in good quality oil, that's clean, um, you're, you're, it's going to result in a really light, refreshing um, crunch that isn't fatty. And it doesn't hold on to too much oil. And there we go. So I'm just going to give those a little season and fry the rest. Okay guys, my timer is nearly up. The 15 minutes is nearly done. Just getting all of these wings out now and gonna prepare my salad. Before I do that, these crispy beauties need to be tossed in the most amazing sauce, which has thickened up beautifully. Add the cauliflower wings to a large mixing bowl, then pour over the sauce. Give the bowl a good old mix up. Guys, the noise, noises of this sounded good, but the noises that my crew were making as I was mixing that up were quite strange. When they are. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna put these beautiful cauliflower bites onto a beautiful bed of greenery. It's gonna be lush, that's what it is. So let's plate it up. Guys, there we go. This basically, I just need some sesame seeds over the top, and then we're done. There we have it. There is my beautiful-looking plate of kicking cauliflower. Gaz's 15-minute meals. Lovely salad here. I can't wait to tuck into this. Those are amazing flavors, textures, and goodness. I can't wait to taste it. give this a taste. Mm -hmm. That is so, so good. Even though it's been coated in that sticky glaze, it's remained really crisp. And also it's so light. You, you wouldn't expect that it's been in oil. Honestly, it's so, so light. And it's so, it's just jazzed up and so much fresher because of the lettuce. I've got some beautiful lamb's lettuce, some spinach, some cress, sorry, some sprouts. So, so good. And what's the best thing about the sauce is the orange juice. It just works so well with that sriracha, that spiciness, it comes through so nicely. Oh, it's so good. I really hope you like this video. You could make this more of a meal if you wanted to serve some rice with it. Um, but this is it's very light and refreshing and perfect in the summer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy these 15 minute meals. Don't forget to hashtag Gaz, Gaz's 15 minute meals on Instagram if you, re, if you make one of my dishes and I wanna see them, I wanna see how you do them. And make sure you tag me on Instagram stories if you're watching it. I've got some new merch on my website now. I've got Vegan 100 t-shirts, only a few left, and also some avant-garde vegan aprons. Uh, I probably should be wearing it all the time when I'm cooking, but yeah. Anyway, I hope you get them and I hope you like the videos. I'll see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe. Another 15 minute video coming next week. See you.